Welcome back to the AL.com Film Room. I'm Matt Scalisi here with John Parker Wilson. John Parker, big game coming up this week for Alabama against Georgia on the road. Huge hype for this game. What did we see this past weekend against Louisiana Monroe that, that could maybe be used as a sign of encouragement going into this weekend? Well, I'm, I'm finally glad we avenged the ULM loss from 2007. Yeah. So we got past the big game. We can move on to Georgia. But I think the first thing we saw was our defense not giving up any points. I think that's huge no matter who you're playing, conference team or non-conference. Allowing the, the team not even to get in field goal ranges is a, is a big uh, first step. Second, I think Kilker and the offense are still making improvements. Obviously, it's his team, and, and you could see him kind of gelling with the receivers a little more. Didn't have a lot of Derrick Henry this game, kind of saving him for, for the road trip to Athens, but I think the offense is evolving. Defense is still holding steady. As we continue to see Jake Coker develop and get a little bit more comfortable with this offense, one thing that, that, that we've seen Alabama do in the past, especially with Lane Kiffin, is work, work in those sort of shorter, quicker passing routes. And you saw a little bit of that this past weekend. Yeah, so this is nice to see Coker throw this ball. This is the hardest ball for, for quarterback to throw, and that's the out route across the field on the right hash. The DB has got a lot of time to react. It's got to be, the ball's got to be thrown on time accurately and with a lot of zip. But this play right here is really off of our running game. So we see this guy cheating right here, trying to get involved in the run. Uh, this is a designed run with a backside tag uh, to the receiver. So Coger is going to look out here, see this guy cheating, immediately know that they've got more numbers in the box than we do. Um, so you see the offensive line firing out. He's got this guy one-on-one. He's 10 yards off, so we're going to just give him, give him what the defense is taking us. Uh, and just throws a nice ball, accurate, on time allows them to get upfield and score the touchdown. So a design run, we're going to throw a backside pass off of it. But you got to have the arm strength and you got to have the confidence in your arm to throw this ball. We'll see this play right here. I believe we get called for, for uh, offensive lineman downfield, which if you watch the Ole Miss game, we know it's kind of controversy. Right. But this is still a backside uh, route by the, by the receiver built in off this defender right here cheating. So he's trying to get in the run game. We're not going to let him. We're going to make him keep, keep, keep him honest. By, by throwing this quick ball right here. It would have been a first down, got the, got the penalty, but just kind of see our offense, how it's working off the running game with the passing game built in. This play right here is not a designed run like we saw the pass to. This is actually a 10 yard out, so really an even harder ball. He sees a one-on-one. -on -one. We've got one of our better receivers, one-on-one -on -one of the cornerback, so we're gonna immediately take it. Three-step drop, gotta throw it on time, perfect ball. Uh, makes a great catch, but just showing the, the arm strength and the confidence of Jacob Coger to be able to throw this deep 10-yard out. It's got to be almost a perfect ball or the, de the defender's going to knock it down. Yeah, right. And you got to throw it quick. Yeah. And the receiver's got to run the right route because a lot of times they'll run like a yard deeper. And that's incomplete. Yeah, right. Because you got to throw it before he's turned around looking at you too. Yeah, because yeah. you're taking three steps and you're throwing as soon as your back foot hits the third. Yeah. And he's running six steps. Yeah, right. <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a look now at uh, another touchdown pass from Jacob Coker, a little bit further downfield than the, than the one we saw earlier. Yeah, so, so Lane Kiffin's strategy right here is we're going to move the launch angle where the ball is going to be launched from. Um, helps the offensive line out. We've seen this a few times earlier this season. Um, you know, it's, it's going to be a deep out. we got Mulaney coming in in motion, so it's going to be a bench route or corner, as we would call it, from Stewart. Mulaney's going to run underneath. This helps to just to get the defense kind of zoned out, and you read it, read it Mulaney first, and if he's not open, you go deep. And a third, third option when we're running on the run would be the quarterback to keep it. Uh, we'll see as it gets started here. Our man Harris makes a, a really good block right here on the defensive end. Um, <laughs> You know, throws a swing and miss. <laughs> Coker has to show some really good athletic ability to make the guy miss. Accurate ball, again, out routes. The hardest for the quarterback to throw, you got to be all time. They've got to be almost perfect. But just showing Lane Kiffin, moving the pocket, doing some different things with Coker, um, and then throws a strike to Stewart right here for the touchdown. We're going to take a look at Georgia's offense now. John Parker, this is obviously an offense people are talking about right now because of Nick Chubb and that power running game. They do a lot of different things with their running backs, though. Yeah, so this play right here, we've seen it from Alabama. It's going to be a design run to Chubb, and they're going to look for Sony Michelle since there's too many linebackers in the box. So there's four guys essentially in the box to stop the run. What are they going to do? They're going to give it to their kind of hybrid uh, receiver, Sony Michelle. Get the ball quick, let him make a play right here. You know, does a good job of shifting around, but shows kind of his power to get to the end zone. Right here, they're just trying to get him the ball quick, and you can see his burst of speed, his change of direction. So 
you know, they have Chubb that's been talked about all year long, but Sonny Michelle also, you know, getting some totes um, from Georgia. Okay, another example right here of them getting the ball to Michelle is just giving him the chance to get in space. So we used to call this, it's a stick play to the tight end with a backside option between the, the, what would be the X receiver and the running back. Right now this play is dead because of this linebacker. You see he's, he's leveraged. So the tight end run of the out route, he's dead. So we're going to play it back two on two right here. He's man against Michelle um, running the swing route. It's actually, they, they turn out, they kind of, they kind of mess it up with the zone right here. You can see the corner gets kind of lost in the zone. He's got to run over top. They're just trying to get the ball to Michelle right here when the, when the defense shows them this. Gets him quick once again, showing him making moves in the open field, which you know I know has been stressed for, stress for, um, from Coach Saban all year long is tackling. We're going to have to tackle this guy uh, in, in the open field. This last cut right here is the Chubb, just showing his ability to, to run the ball. Their offensive line is definitely one of the strengths of their team. And, and he's been doing all year long. You know, comparing him to Herschel Walker from the Georgia fans, I know it is something that is kind of hush-hush, but this guy's been doing it all year long, and it's going to be a big part of their offense.